Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. We are live tonight, coming to you from Stingray's Marina on the beautiful Sacramento River. In Knight's Landing. Yes, it is, just on the outskirts of Woodland, California. Right. And uh, we would like to thank the folks of Stingray's Marina for having us out tonight and being a sponsor of our show. Uh, we have a crowd here uh, you can't see, but um, they're, it's immense. It's huge. Uh, the crowd is huge. Uh, the yeah. standing room only here at Stingrays tonight, which should come as no surprise. They've set up special bleachers. Yes, uh, the bleachers are just about packed. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll try to show you some of this if we can make our way through the crowd here tonight. Might be uh, dangerous. To could be. Yeah. Yes. Security! <laughs> no, it's just a check. I'm just checking. Just make sure. Uh, my name is Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And hello, guys. Um, this is a show that we call Men Are So Smart. And we are on YouTube three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You go to YouTube, you do a search of Men Are So Smart, and it'll pop right up. Um, About 250 episodes. Uh, 250 different episodes yeah. uh, on just about any topic that you could possibly imagine. And uh, today, I thought we'd start by talking about something that is on the minds uh, of both of us, and I'm sure most of you as well. Uh, my partner here, Corvette Ronnie, his daughter is getting married one week from tonight. Yep, June 29th, which so happens to be my wife and I anniversary. Oh, their anniversary is going to be on your anniversary? And our anniversary is on my in-laws anniversary. How's that work out? So it's gonna be three generations of weddings all on the same day. Now, the thing that's really cool about this is that I know Ronnie almost as well as his wife does, I think, uh, but I know that he wants to have a grandchild. Oh boy, yeah, I'm uh, ready. Or some. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, I, I've been blessed with, with two beautiful grandbabies myself, and sometimes I, I feel a little bad because I, I know how bad he wants to be a grandpa. But this is the step that you got to take, Ronnie. This is the first step. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so we're getting this out of the way. Bing, bang, boom. Yep. Done and done. So um, I've paid for a wedding myself, <laughs> but it was a very, very small wedding. Yep. Uh, it it kind of came together in about a month. Okay. So yep. <laughs> it didn't take long. Um, how long has the planning of this wedding been going on? About six months, uh -huh. but uh, my wife is down in San Francisco right now, uh -huh. and they are buttoning up last-minute details. Yeah, I bet they are. And so, and my my daughter has a flair for the extravagant. I bet. And so, it's not going to be simple. Yeah, it's not going to be a simple wedding. Uh, really, not gigantic. Only about a hundred people. Okay. But uh, it's, it's a little pricey. The venue we chose is unbelievably beautiful. Uh, it's in French camp, and it's called the River Mill. Okay, there you go. There's your plug that should pay for half the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and it, what it is, it's a 100-year-old chicory mill. Oh, wow. And they have all sorts of different buildings inside and out where you can have your wedding and your reception. Uh, it's really, it's... My daughter traveled. She kind of thought maybe she wanted to do a destination wedding, mm -hmm. and instead they're having. Uh, and when she looked at this, she goes, uh, "This is this is it. This is the place." Thank goodness. So uh, it's I mean, it's still pricey, but you know what? Weddings are expensive anyway. So and I told my daughter she's very concerned about not wanting to spend too much money, and I said, mm, "Don't worry about it. You we're only paying for one, so have a nice one." Uh, I have to bring up this story because perhaps maybe you've forgotten, but your daughter decided there's a spider on the microphone. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to work. It's, it, we'd have to be on it like this. So, um, so uh, Ronnie, your, your daughter picked out a dress. Yes, I knew it. I knew you forgot. Your daughter picked out a dress, and when she picked it up, well, she, you know, she picked out a dress, and it's beautiful, uh -huh. by the way. It's amazingly beautiful. It looks, it looks amazing on her, but as soon as they put the deposit down and they got home, she had a little bit of buyer's remorse. Oh, no. And she said, this isn't the dress I wanted at all. This is not what I wanted. And we're like, are you kidding? It's really, it's amazing. 
well, I just felt like I was holding people up and they weren't, you know, like nobody could go home until I picked out a dress and so I just picked this one. Oh no. In reality, it's amazing. I have a picture on my phone. It's absolutely amazing. So what was the final outcome on this? Uh, the, the dress that she picked yeah. was the dress that she's going with. Oh, okay. So right. there was some thought that, hey, you know what? Whatever it costs, you know, that's fine. We'll go ahead and we'll pay because you basically lose your deposit. Yeah. So, you know, we would have lost about probably $800 or so. But if you have a daughter, you know you want to make your daughter happy. So, uh, really? That's news to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, it worked out just fine. She's going with the dress that she originally picked out. And, like I said, it is. It looks amazing on her, mm -hmm. and so there will be no issues with the dress. <clears throat> okay, so a hundred people or so, and um, and you're uh, cashing out for some food, I would imagine too. Huh? Yes, food is yep. kind of again pricey. It's expensive. Yep. It's all catered, but the nice thing about this venue is the caterer is on site, the DJ is on site, the photographer is on site, the florist is on site. Everybody that you know that we're bringing in actually is affiliated with this venue so it's one-stop shopping yeah you don't have to and it's not their first rodeo uh, they do about a little over 200 weddings a year Holy here cow. so Ronnie do you know how important a good DJ is to a wedding oh all, all the different crucial the yeah all the different crucial in the world. for sure uh, uh, and especially a DJ it's one thing to have a DJ and then it's another to have a wedding DJ right Right. Somebody who knows when it's time for the first dance and when it's time for the father of the speech or the father of the bride speech and you know just all the nuances of when things have to click into place. So it is. I think it'll be fine. It, it's going to be good that uh, we have somebody that's you know so familiar with the place that he's going to be able to work it. So sound check. Check. Yeah. There's a spider right there. Careful, <laughs> Keith. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, did you see that commercial for, um, oh gosh, I'm trying to think what it was now. There's a wedding scene and there's a DJ and it's time for the couple's first dance and he's using YouTube and so he clicks the button to play the song and you know how on YouTube a commercial comes up first before the video? Yeah. Well, there was a commercial for ED. Right. Yeah, not a good, not a good one. Yeah. First dance. Yeah. All right. Nice. So hopefully that won't happen at this wedding. What well, do you remember anything about your wedding that was uh, that stood out in particular? You know what? It's really just a blur. I just remember doing a tremendous burnout as we left the wedding in my Camaro. So. Corvette Ronnie doing a burnout. Imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. We did a smoky burnout leaving the reception hall. And it's been a smoky, bumpy ride ever since. <laughs> How long have you been married? Forty-nine years. Uh, let me think. What year is this? Uh, Thirty-three years on the 29th. Thirty-three years. Yep. Wow. That's, that's not in dog years. That's actual years. Uh, people years. People years. No kidding. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've been married this time. Twenty-seven years. Not bad. And the first time, eight years. So you're right with me. Oh, yeah, you're right there. I'm a pro at this. This marriage thing, it's easy. Oh yeah, right guys. Oh, marriage is it's a breeze. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> so, how long have you been married? Which time? Oh, oh okay. well. Never mind. We won't go there. <laughs> I asked a guy earlier over on the other table, "Are you married or are you happy?" And it's it's one or the other. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've been buttoning up my uh, father of the bride speech. Oh I, yeah, I want to hear about this. I worked on it last night. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, it's got a lot of zingers in it, so it's going to be uh, about as much of a roast as it is a heartfelt speech. You need to start with a joke. I have about six jokes okay. in there. All right. Yeah. Um, uh, so we'll see. I mean, they may go over like uh, you know. Like nothing, and we have uh, uh, we have vlogs as well. Uh, you can find the vlogs uh, below the video in the description. Uh, Ronnie is a very good rider. Um, I like to think I kind of knocked the dust off the boots. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you can check out our vlogs. That's a blog that you should write before you go. I, you know what? I might just do that yeah, for yeah. sure. Uh, my wedding, I had a little bit too much to drink and decided to make a speech. <laughs>
bad choice, huh? Yeah, that's yeah, not a good thing. And uh, the first thing I remember saying in my speech with a drink, I'll do it, we'll reenact it. How's that? We'll reenact it. Uh, I said to my wife, honey, I love you because your eyes remind me of my golden retriever. <laughs> that's very, that's actually very sweet. It's romance right there, people. I love my dogs. Yeah. yeah. So. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, okay, so 4th of July is coming up. We're out here at Stingray's Marina on the beautiful Sacramento River. We are in Knight's Landing, and um, they have campgrounds uh, on the facilities here, and you can book the campgrounds right now. Uh, we will show you the address where you can get more information, or you can find them on Facebook at Stingray's Marina. US. No, Marina. Oh, yeah. and they the also website have, is oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. There yeah. Okay. Uh, they also have 200 feet of boat dock right there. So you can uh, pull up in your boat, walk straight up, walk right in, get a drink, get something to eat. And the view of that bridge, is that something? Uh, that is crazy. It really is. Yep, it's amazing. Fourth of July always reminds me of my dad. Uh, he's been gone for quite a few years now, but his favorite holiday was the Fourth of July. And he loved fireworks. And I gotta tell you, there was one 4th of July where the barbecue was all done, everybody had their burgers and their hot dogs and such, and everybody was sitting around up the pool at his house and having a few drinks, everybody's having a good time. My dad lifted the lid on the Weber barbecue and dropped an M80 in there and closed the lid. <laughs> if you can imagine this, not only, did it blow the lid off the top of the barbecue, yep. but it blew it into the neighbor's pool next door. Right, That's right. how far that thing oh, dropped. Boy. Yeah. So yeah, it was always a lot of fireworks. Um, in my family, um, as kids, we always got together uh, for 4th of July, and something always went bad. There was always somebody that had too much to drink. Is that true of every 4th of July? Uh, it wouldn't be a good 4th of July without it. Yeah. I remember the first 4th of July Vicki and I celebrated together before we were married. Uh -huh. At her parents' house, you could still get those metal sparklers back then. Oh, yeah. And I took one, and I if you bend the tip just right, you can actually shoot it up in the air with like a, a big rubber band. Oh. Shot it up in the air. Well, they don't go out when they come down, those metal ones, they, they, think, they stay lit. Heavy. Yeah. And it landed in the landscaping between their houses and it started a little fire. And so I had to run over and get the hose real quick and put the fire out. And I thought, this would probably be my last 4th of July with this family. <laughs> so, so let's see, safe and sane, alcohol and fireworks. <laughs> it's, it's a recipe for a good time. <laughs> 4th of July. Uh, let's, let's see, what else can I tell you about us here? How about being on this stage? Oh, kind of yeah. Brings, brings back old memories, it, it? it? really does. Um, Ron and I first met back in 1979 in high school. We went to El Camino High School in Sacramento. And uh, Ron's a couple years older than I am. And we formed a band. Yep. And we weren't very good. But that wasn't the point. No. The point was we formed a band solely to get girls and it worked and it worked really well like a champ yeah it did yeah uh so back then it was all about the girls oh yeah and the music nowadays we still get together like 40 years later and it's all about the music and we've had enough of the girls <laughs> yeah <laughs> we've got enough of those to last for a lifetime yeah so uh we would love to bring the band out here one night and uh perform for you but um, unfortunately our drummer is a billionaire yes and he doesn't have time for us. No. no so we got that going for us which is nice which is nice it is nice yeah all right so there you go there's a little information about who we are and what we do we are live at stingrays marina and we will be here all week bringing you shows and showing you various parts of the uh, property which is immense it is big it really is uh later on if you want ronnie i'll challenge you to a game of horseshoes oh, oh, oh. are you any good i'm good okay i'm pretty good too i'm good
Um, I'm Polish, so I have to be good. I thought that was bowling. That is bowling. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's, it's, not, it's not like bowling. No. It's not like bowling. Uh, they've got, as Ron mentioned, a boat dock down there. There are campgrounds, a bar with a very nice bartender who is uh, serving us up some delicious 805s tonight. Yeah, they're wonderful. Never You've had never them. had one. Never had one before. Does it remind you of anything? Uh, no. I mean, it's so smooth. That's the one thing I just can't get over. It's very smooth. It is. And I almost hate to do this because I don't mean to insult it, but it reminds me of Henry Weinhardt's. Do you remember those? I do remember Henry's. Yeah. Uh, it reminds me a little of that. It's been a long time since I drank a Henry's, so I can't can't really reference that very well. Oh, you know what? I know which beer you liked. You like that. Um, uh -oh. You like that. My dad's not my not my dad's root beer. Yeah. Uh, How many? Not, not your dad's root anybody beer. Anybody try that? Not uh, my dad's root beer, show of hands. Anybody had that? Okay. Few. Yep. Yep. All right. I hate that stuff. It's awful. It yeah. tastes like licorice. You know, it's it tastes like root beer that's gone bad. <laughs> oh, please bring me some now. I think that's a ringing endorsement, isn't it? <laughs> that's what they have on the bottle. <laughs> but I like it because it does taste a little bit like root beer. It has a has a root beer. The first time I ever had it, we went to a friend's house. Uh -huh. He has a 16-year-old kid, and the mom bought it thinking it was oh, root beer. beer. Yeah. Oh, good job, mom. She handed it to the 16-year-old. He took a drink, and he goes, I don't think I'm supposed to be drinking this, and handed it back. And then she looked at it. Oh, no. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, you're not. Thank you. Now go back to your wine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you again for watching our show, Men Are So Smart. It's on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We're on at 9 a.m. Pacific and noon Eastern. Uh, when you go to YouTube, do a search of Men Are So Smart, and you will find um, over 250 episodes of everything from A to Z. Yep. And if we haven't done a Z show, we'll do that soon. That coming up. All right. Uh, if you'd like any more information on either of us, you'll find that below in the descriptor. And uh, also um, our information on our social media, our website, which is menaresosmart.com, and all of our sponsors that help to make this show possible, especially to our friends at Stingrays Marina. That's going to about do it. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And we'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart.